What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new compilation video. And you guys are probably wondering, why is this? What kind of video is this? And why is it starting at 37? Well guys, early this year, I had a new series that is called Vegas Pro Compilations and I kind of stopped that video. But for now, I have more tutorials ready. So I will pick up this series again because I stopped it at episode 36. So this is not going to be tutorial one, but this is going to be episode 37. So I hope you guys enjoy. More tutorials will follow and I'll see you guys in the next video. You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And before this video starts, I want to make a huge disclaimer that this video is not because I'm running out of ideas, but if my channel is dying as some, as some people might comment. But instead, I was like, why just not make a really simple tutorial that every YouTuber has probably used in the past or even at this point while I'm talking. So I'm talking about the whoosh effect. It's basically a transition to spice up your video, your vlog, uh, switching from another um, clip to another with a transition and a sound effect. So I'm going to do that right now in this video. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already. Let's hit 500 likes on this video. Let's just try to go ahead and do that. Make sure to do that. And I would say let's get started. So as you can see right here, I have two clips of mine talking uh, with a really weird face. As you can see, um, I'm just explaining. This is just the intro of a uh, Photoshop tutorial and I'm going to switch back and forth between those two clips. Right here we have two clips and normally a transition happens when you zoom in and you drag one clip, one clip over uh, the other. You, you will get like a crossfade as you can see. As you can see that that really quick transition. So what we're going to do, first of all, this is just a crossfade, nothing special, but we're going to add in uh, a whoosh uh, sound effect while it is sliding from uh, the other clip to the other. So as you can see right now, we have video effects. We're going to go to transitions and we're going to go to slide right here. Now you can choose from which uh, angle it, it slides. You can go from left to right or from right to left. I'm just going to pick this one slide out right left. I'm going to just drag that on top of the uh, the crossfade and as you can see it already creates a transition. As you can see it slides outside the screen. So what we're going to do now is as you can see this is a pretty long one. So we're going to just drag this guy a little bit to the right until it's really quick and fast. As you can see that looks really great. So let's play it back without audio. So as you can see, that is basically the transition. But now what we want to do is we want to also add in the whoosh sound effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder. I have the folder right here. As you can see, it's called all sounds effects. I'll make sure to include a download link. It is full of all different sound effects from uh, many types of uh, whooshes. We have a stopping beat. We have strong punch, suspense, impact, TV, anything you can imagine. So right now, as you can see, we have whoosh transition. But I have also uh, this one. different sound effects, different whooshes. So we're going to drag that in. And as you can see uh, on the uh, sound waves, uh, it is basically uh, multiple whooshes. So let's just go ahead and pick the best one. I think that's one that one sounds perfect. So this is basically the, the fact we're going to use. So we're going to just go ahead and place this underneath. We're going to sync this with a transition. So let's see what it looks like. That's a little bit too early. So as you can see, that's a really nice, really nice little uh, whoosh sound effect under the slide transition on uh, in Vegas. So let's play back and let's see what it looks like. So that's what, that looks really legit, guys. Obviously, you can time it a little bit. You can make it a little bit uh, sound a little bit more early. You, but but you want to do, what you want to do is you want to basically sync this with the slide. That's make that makes the most sense. Let's place a little bit back right there. So that looks really great, guys. So this is how you make a whoosh transition, guys. It is really simple, I know, but that's how to do it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to smash the like button, like I said at the beginning of this video. And let's just share this video so that everyone can see. So that is this free video. Thank you for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new Vegas, uh, Audacity tutorial, rather. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. What is happening, guys? My name is Alex, and welcome... Wait, what? You're probably thinking... 
where the hell is Alex? He's always in the court in, in the bottom right corner of the screen when he's doing a Vegas tutorial. That is right, guys. As you can see, I'm not in the corner because I want to ask you guys something that, I, that I've been thinking about for a couple of days. Like, should I add a face cam to Vegas or not? Would you would you guys like to see more tutorials without face cam or with face cam? What I want to ask you guys is make sure to like the video if you want me to if you want me to add the face cam and make sure to comment if you want it without. So like is with face cam comment is without so with that being said let's get started so in this video guys i'm gonna show you guys how to fast forward and slow down footage now i want to mention that this is something different slowing down footage is a little bit different than a time lapse as you can see right here i have a small clip of a overwatch a gameplay and i'm going to show you guys how to speed this up and slow this down now, as you guys can see, this is the normal tempo of the video. But to basically, let's say that you want to make a nice kill streak and you want to speed it up. What you want to do is you want to hold left control. You want to hold your mouse at the end of the clip until it says time stretch. And you want to hold your left mouse button and drag it to the left. As you can see, those lines are starting to appear. That means that it is, is sped up. So let's play back the video and see what it looks like. So as you can see, this is quite fast, but let's say that you want to slow it down as well, like that you want to have like a nice kill. I'm gonna look for a nice kill that I made. Let's say I want to fire this, but then slow it down. And whatever you, what you want to do is you want to press S on your keyboard that makes it cut, and then I'm going to press S again, and this part is what we're gonna slow down. So let's say that we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do the same thing, hold control, put your mouse at the end of the clip and drag it to the right. So that's really, that's really simple to remember, to the right is slowing down, to the left is speeding up. So if I play back the video, this is how it looks. As you can see, so that looks really awesome, guys. So this is how you speed up and slow down or fast forward, like it says in the thumbnail, or slow down footage. It's really simple. Again, to the left is speeding it up. As you can see, I can speed it up like as much as possible. That's going to look really, really fast, as you can see. But if you want to slow it down, you just want to stretch it to the right. And as you guys can see, this is uh, the clip slowed down. So this is how to do it, guys. That is how to fast forward and slow down clips. It is really simple. So that is it for the video, guys. Make sure to smash the like button, like I said at the beginning of this video. If you want the Vegas tutorials with face cam, is a like. And without, is comments. And also let me know why you don't want the face cam or why you want the face cam. So that is it for the video. Thank you for the support, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new evolving into a better YouTuber episode, as always, on Saturday. So thank you for the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. What is Hey guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to zoom in and how to zoom out slowly or just how to zoom in uh, just at once, not really with the zoom. I'm going to show you guys in today's video how to do that. So make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say let's get started. So as you can clearly can see, we have a picture of mine in uh, Vegas. As you can see, this is just a picture of me. Uh, this is actually a thumbnail of an NCS video I uploaded, like the top 10 or top 5 best NCS songs. This is the thumbnail. And I'm going to show you guys how to zoom in slowly, how to zoom out slowly, or how to just zoom in immediately. So as you can see right now, we have this picture on the timeline, and it all starts in the event pan crop section, as we're right here on this little icon. As you can see, this window is popping up right now. Here is where we're going to do the animation so right here we have uh, the picture and at the bottom we have this 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 bar this, this little gray bar that's where we're gonna place keyframes and how to zoom in so let's say that we are going to uh, make it zoom in but then uh, just really slow what we're gonna do is we are going to just press on uh, right here that would say like this is cool then we're gonna zoom in holding our left mouse button and drag this uh, a little bit bigger and as you can see if I play it back it is zooming in slowly that's how to do it you just want to go ahead and go to this little timeline you don't you just want to 
click on here, like for example, then you want to just zoom in or you want to zoom in into a specific part of the video, of, I mean of the picture, let's say right here. Then we're going to just play it back and it's going to zoom to that keyframe. As you can see right now, it is zooming really slowly into the screen. So this is how you zoom in guys. It is really simple. Now I'm going to show you guys how to zoom out and it actually works kind of the opposite. The starting point is going to be the zoomed in part, I would say right here. And then you're going to place a keyframe right here. Click on it once. Then you need to right click and click on restore. And now it's going to zoom out. So let's say, it's, as you can see, it starts right here. And now it's zooming out slowly. And this is how you do it, guys. It is really simple. You just want to place down a keyframe, resize, rescale it. And as you can see, this is how it looks. And obviously, you can make the zoom a lot faster if you just want to drag this keyframe closer to the beginning. As you can see, it's going to zoom out quick a little bit quicker and this is how you do it guys that's how to zoom in and let's say that you want uh, a zoom without uh, like sliding or whatever what we're gonna do then is we are just going to cut so we're going let's say that I want to just play back this little clip and I want to cut right here we're gonna press s then we're going to just go ahead and also press right here s and then we're gonna just click on this one so this is a separate piece then we're gonna click on event pan crop zoom it to wherever we want and as you can see if I play it back it is not like zooming slowly it is just immediate boom as you can see and that's the symbol this guys that is how you make a uh, picture zoom in zoom out or zoom immediately so thank you for the support that is it for this video it's really simple i know but that's how you actually do it and unlock this feature so thank you for watching that's it for this video i will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new audacity tutorial as always on thursday so i will see you guys tomorrow just alex halford